Namaste. Hello and welcome to your prenatal yoga class. Um, if you have a block, please have it ready. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Uh, any sort of prop that can help you to reach the floor will be handy. Uh, maybe a couple of cushions if you have. One would be ideal to sit on so that you can alleviate some of that tension uh, in the lower back. All right. So I'd like you to come to a comfortable seated position on your cushion. If this is the first time you're practicing with me, welcome. And this practice is available to you even after the live practice and it's going to be on our Facebook page um, all through the month. All right. So I'd like you to uh, have something in mind. Um, if you have any discomfort whatsoever, uh, whether it's in the wrist, uh, in the back, or in the groin area, if there is any sharp discomfort, please um, scale back the practice, modify as per the instructions, or just take a child's pose and take a rest, all right? So please come to a comfortable seated position and bring your hands onto your hips. And i like you to rock your pelvis back and forth. So you're coming into an anterior tilt whereby the back hip is higher than the pubic bone, and you're coming into a posterior tilt where the pubic bone tilts forward. Okay, so a few more rounds here. Notice how this affects your lower back and just rocking the hips back and forth. Good. Now, I'd like you to close your eyes. As you continue to rock the pelvis back and forth, find the center, not too far forward not too far back, somewhere in the middle. It's not really a dot on the mat, not really a dot on the mat. It's just a space that's not quite forward, not quite back. And that will be somewhere what is called your neutral pelvis. Keeping your eyes closed, once you've found your neutral, bring your left palm to your belly. Bring your right hand to your heart, connecting your heartbeat to your babies. And start to breathe in and out through the nose. Inhaling. And slow, long exhalations. Bringing the mind to the present moment, connecting with your breathing. And discarding everything that is not relevant to your practice at least for the next 30 minutes. This is the time for you and your baby. You feel the breath expanding into the hands as you take an inhale, chest and belly expanding into the palms. As you exhale, chest and belly relaxes. I'd like you to keep your hand on the chest and the belly and I'm going to begin a four breath count, four breath in and out. So four counts on an inhalation. I'd like you to try to extend your breathing as much as you can without any gaps in between. So try not to hold the breath and if you can't stretch it to four counts, that is fine. Just do what you can at this point in time. Take a full exhalation through the nose and inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four. Three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Twice more. One, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one, one more, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, and one. 
keeping the hands as they are. Do two more rounds is mentally counting up to four on a slow inhale and out four counts. Release your palms onto the knees, shoulders soft. On your next exhale, tuck the chin to the chest and inhale to the chin up towards the ceiling. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, chin up. And once more, exhale, chin down. Inhale, chin up. Now bring your head back towards the center and turn your head towards the right. Just checking on how much range of motion you have today in your neck. Releasing some of that tension for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale towards the middle and exhale towards your other side for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center. Gently blink open your eyes. Good. Now what I'd like you to do right now is to bring your hands in front of you and make them into like a gun. Okay, so you have your three last three fingers uh, interlaced and you're releasing your thumb and your index finger. So you're stretching uh, your arms forward like this. And when you rotate, I like you to rotate not from the lower body, but from the rib cage. And the gaze is going to follow your gun. All right, so we're going to take an inhale, plugging the arms into the socket so that shoulders are stable. And on an exhale, you're going to slowly turn towards your right side as much as your upper body can allow you to today. Inhale, come back to the center. And on an exhale, you're going to twist towards your left side. Inhale to the center. This is going to give you thoracic mobility. Exhale towards the right, releasing tension in the upper body. Inhale to the center. And exhale towards your left side. One more round, please. Inhale to your center. And exhale towards the right side. Inhale to your center and exhale towards your left side. Very good. And as you come back to the center, release your arms. Bring your fingertips to the shoulders and just rotate one, two, and three. And we go in reverse for three, two, and one. Release very slowly. And let's release your cushion. And I'm just going to get rid of this for a moment. Okay. And we're going to continue by coming onto all fours. Okay. So stacking the shoulders over the wrists. Spreading the fingers nice and wide. And if you have any wrist discomfort, there's any inflammation in the wrist, please come up onto your fists instead with your thumbs facing forward. All right. Otherwise, if you're okay, let's spread the fingers slightly. Shoulders are stacked directly over the wrist. A little bit of a bend on your elbows, pressing your toenails down. Cat and cow on an inhalation, arch your spine. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch, lifting from the tailbone all the way to the neck. And as an exhale, you're going to round, scooping baby in, dropping the head, sending baby some love. Inhale, three more. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back to your tabletop, bring the right leg up to the side for a gate pose, creating openness, 
spaciousness in the side body, in the lateral body, all right? This is going to be so good for your lower back. So get the right heel in line with your left knee and square off the hips. The right hip is gonna hike slightly, so you wanna drop it down so that both of your hip bones, hip points are facing forward. You're gonna raise your arms overhead. Catch hold of your hand, interlace the fingers, and let's come into that gun shape again. So you're only interlacing the last three fingers. Now have a light squeeze of the head with your arms, and on an exhale, you're gonna to bend towards your right side. Keeping the chin level to the floor, so don't drop your head. Huh? Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center. Exhale, release. Bring that right knee back. Let's switch sides. Left leg up to the side. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Interlace the last three fingers. And on an exhale, bend towards your left. For five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Come back to the center and on an exhale, lower release. All right. Now, from here, I'm going to turn this way. I'd like you to point your toes back and sit on your heels. All right. Sit on your heels. You're coming up onto your fingertips, or if you have very, very long limbs, you can always press your palms flat. Your knees will be slightly wider than hip width so that you can accommodate baby and part baby there comfortably. Push the weight down onto the heels so your buttocks are sinking down towards the heels. Shoulders soft, so don't scrunch the shoulders up towards the ears and just do a little gentle rocking side to side. Two more rounds, one and two good and then from here press your palms flat bring your knees back to parallel and then shift your knees slightly back this time you're going to tuck your toes now notice my shoulders are now behind the wrists and on an exhale you're going to sink your hips down towards your heel and just let the head rest between the arms the forehead may or may not touch the mat inhale you're going to shift forward Exhale, you're going to shift back. Inhale, you're going to shift forward. And this time, on an exhale, you're going to pick up the knees and come into a downward facing dog. Now, if you are feeling a little bit lightheaded today or you feel that by doing downward facing dog, there's a little bit of an acid reflux happening, you're going to lift the head and look forward so you don't drop the head below the heart. All right, this will help. Hold it here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Let's walk towards the hands, bending the knees as you get to the front of your mat. All right, now your feet are parallel to one another. I'd like you to interlace, uh, sorry, you're gonna grab hold of your elbows. Now, if it's possible, lift your arms so that they are in line with your ears. And then rest baby on the thighs and slowly fold, keeping the arms by the ears. And you're going to come into pendulum pose. You're going to gently sway side to side, keeping the arms by the ears. Let's take two more breaths here, releasing any tension in your lower back. Good, and then from here, release your hands onto the floor, lift your chest, come up onto your fingertips. Take an inhale here, and then bring your hands onto the hips as you exhale, push into the feet, come up into a standing position, all right? From your standing position, keep your feet grounded. So I'd like you to spread the toes, really feel the pressing of the ball of the foot. That's the mount of your big toe. Press it down. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. Interlace the last three fingers. On an exhale, bend to your right side. Inhale to your center. Exhale, bend towards your left side. Inhale to the center. On an exhale, fall forward. Bring your hands to rest on the shins, ankles, wherever they can go. As you inhale, push the shins into the hands and come into a flat back. Half forward bend. Take an inhale. 
exhale one one more inhale exhale two separate your legs bend the knees bring your hands between the feet drop the bum and step your right leg back big step until the right knee is straight let's twist towards your left side stretch your left arm up inhale exhale one inhale again exhale two lower the palm and drop the right knee down keeping the back toes tucked we're going to rock back and forth come to as far back as you can to get a good stretch on your left leg now your left knee may not be straight that's absolutely fine inhale you're going to rock forward exhale rock back rocking lunges are an active birthing pose so this really feels good for that stretch going on on the inner thigh the front of the thigh and release all that tension in the lower back okay now exhale back and inhale to the front this time tuck your right toes lift the right leg and let's go back into a downward facing dog inhale one exhale inhale two exhale look forward let's walk towards the front of our mat keeping the knees bent as you go inhale scoop your arms and come all the way back up exhale return to prayer position in front of the chest second side inhale reach your arms up interlace the last three fingers exhale bend to the left inhale to your center and to the right inhale to the center lengthen and as you fold bring your hands to rest on your legs flat back take an inhale exhale stay inhale again exhale separate the legs bring the hands between the feet and step your left leg back big step twist towards the right stretch your right arm up inhale exhale one inhale again exhale two palm to the mat left knee down rocking back and forth exhale one inhale back to the front four more exhale two inhale exhale three inhale exhale four inhale one more exhale five inhale tuck the toes lift the knee let's go back downward facing dog for two breaths inhale exhale one inhale again exhale two lift the head walk towards the top of your mat inhale come all the way back up and bring your hands back to prayer position inhale scoop it up interlace the last three fingers bend to the right inhale to your center exhale bend to your left inhale to your center fall forward this time bend your knees scoop into your chair pose inhale exhale fold the chair rest baby against the thighs scoop the arms back two more inhale chair pose exhale fold the chair upper body is fluid lower body is solid one more inhale and exhale good separate your legs once again hands down between the feet right leg back twist towards your left inhale exhale one inhale again exhale two palm to the floor knee down rocking exhale one inhale lift the chest exhale two inhale exhale three inhale exhale four inhale one more round exhale five inhale on your next exhale glide that left leg back downward facing dog inhale exhale one inhale exhale two look forward and step to the top of your mats inhale come all the way back up exhale return to prayer second side inhale interlace the last three fingers bend to your left Create that space. Inhale to the center. This is so good for digestion. Exhale. Inhale. Lengthen. This time fold forward. Come into chair pose. Inhale. Three rounds. Fold the chair. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Once more. In and exhale. Keep the breath going. Separate your legs. Hands down, left leg back. Twist to the right. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale once more. Exhale, palm to mat, left knee down, rocking. Exhale back. Inhale, lift the chest, sink the hip even more. Inhale two, exhale, sorry. And inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. One more, five. Inhale, good. Lift the back knee, slide it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, one. Again, inhale, and exhale, good. Look forward, I'd like you to walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, bring your arms all the way back up, and bring your hands to prayer. Good. Now, from here, I'd like you to step your legs wide, about a meter. All right, and turn your toes out, bend your knees. Now, when you do that, check that the knee is pointing in the same direction as your foot or your toe. You don't want your knee to collapse inwards this way. If this is what's happening and the inner thighs feel tight, groin feels tight, you're gonna have to adjust your foot accordingly so that the knee and the foot is aligned. It is parallel and pointing in the same direction. I'd like you to tuck the tailbone down slightly you're not sticking your bum out this way all right you're tucking it down so from here you're going to feel the strength of your adductors your inner thighs and also your hamstrings all right bring your fingertips to touch in front of the chest exhale fully here inhale expand the arms out in line with the shoulders exhale back to the chest four more inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, twice more, in, strong legs, exhale, one more, inhale, good, and exhale, scoop your arms up, take a nice big inhale, no movement in the lower body, bend to the right side, rest your right forearm lightly on the thigh, don't push down, and sweep your left arm up, let's do three circles, one, Keep breathing, two, and three. We're gonna scoop the arms up overhead, hold it here for three, two, and one. Come back to the center, lower body is solid. Left side, one, circle, two, and three. We're gonna scoop the arms overhead, point the fingers past the ears for three, two and one come back up to the center exhale bend as low as you can bring your fingertips to the floor and then come back all the way again the lower body is not moving and then exhalation bring your hands back to your hips now straighten the knees turn the feet step back together shake your legs up all right, so if you have a block, you can use a block. Otherwise, don't worry, we will just modify as we go. All right, if you have a block and you're using a block, I'd like you to place a block between your feet. Step your left leg back about a meter and the toes turn slightly out to the left side. Square baby off so that baby is facing the front of your mat. All right, bring the right hand to the sacrum, that big um, stable bone that's just below the waistband of your pants. All right, stretch your left arm up. Take a nice inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward and bring your hand to the block. If you do not have a block, you're going to bring the hand lightly on your shin, but don't push down, okay? It's not a lot of weight. Even on the block, there's not a lot of weight. So you're gonna choose the height of the block if you're using one that works for you. Press the right big toe to the floor. So don't flip the weight to your outer edge. Lengthen the spine. Now, just like how we started, turn the rib cage and the gaze at the same time. So don't turn the head first. You want the head to follow the ribs. 
to the right side. Revolve triangle pose. And then when you're ready, you're stable, you can always extend your right arm up, palm facing to the wall. Keep the breath going for five, four, three, baby stays in the center, two, and one. Bring your right hand back, turn the head back to center, and step your left leg to the front. Switch sides, right leg goes back about a meter, squaring off baby to face forward. Left hand is on the sacrum this time. Inhale to stretch your right arm overhead. Lengthen the spine, create that space. Exhale, hinge forward. Hand on your shin or block. Lengthen once again, press that inner left foot to the floor. Twist the ribs and the head towards your left side. Good, and then once you're fully twisted, you feel stable, last, one, you stretch your left arm up, palm facing to the wall for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, come back to the center, and step that right leg back to the front. If you're using a block, turn it, move it aside, separate your feet, lower the knees, and let's come into your last downward facing dog. Stretch it out for a moment. Again, if you're feeling dizzy or you have a little bit of indigestive um, experiences or acid reflux, lift the head, look between your hands. Four, three, two, one. Bend your knees and sit with your toes pointed back on your heels. Okay? Close your eyes for a moment. You're sitting into in thunderbolt pose or vajrasana and this pose is really good to help stimulate the digestive system rest your hands on the thighs soften your facial muscles hold it here for another five four three two slow the breathing down one and then gently blink or open your eyes and come to a seated position. Let's do butterfly. So bring the soles of your feet together. And uh, if you experience any discomfort doing butterfly lately, I'd like you to come into diamond pose instead, where the feet are further forward from the groin, about um, one and a half um, feet. All right. If butterfly is accessible to you, flap a few times with your hands behind you for support. Keep the spine lifted. Relax your knees. Good. And then if you're folding forward today, open your feet with your hands. Roll your shoulders back. Get a good lift. And then on an exhalation, slowly come forward. Pause for a moment. Notice the reaction from baby. Is baby giving you a nudge in the ribs? Baby is not comfortable sometimes. Stay right here or come back a little bit higher. Otherwise, if it's possible, you can go a little bit more. And if the elbows reach the thighs, use your elbows to press slightly onto the thighs to give the knees a little bit more pressure to come down towards the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. On an inhale, slowly come up. Bring your legs back in. Sway side to side for windshield wipers. Good. Let's come into fire lock. Stack your right shin over your left shin and flex your feet. All right. If this is not comfortable, this is not accessible, you find that the knee is coming really high and your body is leaning back, you will just modify and come back into a simple cross-legged position, all right? Otherwise, if this is accessible to you, flex the feet, make sure that the shins are parallel. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lean forward. Now, for today, I'd like you to rock side to side, just very, very gently, shifting the weight from one side to another side, but your both of your uh, buttocks are still grounding down onto the mat. You're not lifting the butt whatsoever, okay? Good. Now, as you come back to the center, see if you have the space and the capacity to go a little bit further forward. All 
all right feel that the hips are stretching to the back as your chest extends to the front four three two and one as you inhale come back towards the center release your legs on an exhale shake it out let's do the other side stack your other leg on top again modify if this is a tighter side for you all right hands by the sides inhale to lengthen exhale full halfway forward and then gently rock side to side Notice how this side is responding to the stretch. This is really good if you have sciatica or any sort of discomfort, you know, that pinching sensation that comes from the lower back past the buttocks, sometimes even down the leg. All right, and then stay here and go a little bit further if that's possible for five, four, keep the breath going, three, two, and one. On an inhalation, slowly come back, release your legs, and stretch your legs out, shake it out. Now let's come back to that simple cross like how we started and bring your hands behind you. Turn your palms so that the fingers face the back. Roll your shoulders back, all right? Push down onto the hands on an inhalation and lift the chest. If you have any wrist pain, you are going to stay here by lifting the ribs and lifting the chest up to the ceiling. If your wrists are fine, there is nothing wrong with them, you can lift the hips, push the hips forward, drop the head back, opening up the chest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the chin forward and exhale, slowly come down. Release your hands, rotate the wrists a few times. Good. And then from this position, let's bring your right arm below, cross it, give yourself a big hug. And then wrap your wrists, press your palms together, coming into eagle arms to release tension from the shoulders. Now from this position, you're going to drop your head lightly, just slightly, just very, very light movement towards your left side. Stretching the side of the right, all the way to the tops of the shoulders. Inhale to the center, unwrap your arms, exhale. Let's switch sides, left arm, wrap. Good. As you press your palms together, lightly tilt the head towards your other side. Four, three, two and one inhale to the center exhale unwrap the arms inhale scoop your arms up and bring your hands back to prayer position in front of the chest close your eyes feel the warmth of your palms feel the thumbs pressing against the center of your chest your sternum a silent expression of gratitude for your energy, your breath, and for practicing for two this morning. Gently rub your palms until they are warm. Press them over your eyes. Relax your eyes. Rub your palms once more. Place them behind your neck. Massage your neck the shoulders. One last time, rub your palms. Place them at the lower back, massage the lower back. Sliding the palms to baby, make a heart shape with your fingers to seal your practice today. Bring your hands back to prayer gently, open your eyes. Namaste.